Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna go back and revisit Crunchyroll Originals. Oh yay. And Netflix Originals. I'm oh, talking boy. about anime. And, uh, or what's, I don't know if we call it non-ame. I, I was know. Say, well, I wouldn't know if I consider some of this stuff anime. Anyway. Uh, what's very interesting is, you know, we talked the other day about X-Arm. Uh, Crunchyroll's X-Arm, which is oh, a it's so bad. bad, bad, bad CGI anime, I'm using little finger quotes, series. It is currently seeing at 17,000 downvotes to only 1.7 thousand upvotes. That's bad. And people are comparing it unfavorably to early seasons of Ruby uh, with really wonky action and it just does not look that great. Right. Uh, it's gotten so bad that even Anime News Network, which you know constantly defends Crunchyroll, mm -hmm. uh, they've actually written a very lengthy article about how awful it is. Yeah. Why does it look so awful? And there's an article on Wired not addressing Crunchyroll's original so much, but they're talking about Netflix. And they're basically saying that Netflix anime is kind of wonky and they think part of the problem is they're they're wanting to appeal to an international audience. Yes. And also trying to shit out as much content as fast as they can. Which is what we heard from that one person that was talking about, um, was they were talking about uh, Crunchyroll when they were trying to be like, oh, we're not getting sold. And, but they're basically saying, we're working with our partners and basically telling them what they need to do and what they need to change. Oh yeah, her. Um, are the co-production partners happy receptive to our input? There are simple things that added or removed can maximize the audience in a given territory. And Crunchyroll is uniquely positioned to help Japanese partners through cultural minefields abroad. And they're basically saying that you have to listen to us to make sure you have mass appeal. Here's the thing. Anime had mass appeal before Crunchyroll messed with it. That is the thing. The only reason anime became popular was because the Japanese basically were left to their own devices. Right. And we just happened to like what they came up so with. So don't listen to people like this woman, uh, Japan. She's full of shit. Keep giving us good stuff people like. Yeah, or you're going to get downvoted to oblivion. Like, uh, poor X arm here, 17,000. It, it's really bad. Down like, I don't even know. I mean, you know, Ruby, you can get. You can say, well, they were starting out. They were like their own thing. Crunchyroll's supposed to have all this money and power and pull. Why, why is their stuff like shit? Well, people keep saying, did they spend all the money on their office and not they spell the money on high guardian spice yeah I, i'll be honest high guardian spice looks better than this mm -hmm. at least the animation looks better than this people don't like 3d anime and we'll talk a little bit about that uh this article from wired was pretty interesting but they, they do have other other shows out there they're being received a little better uh onyx equinox has it doesn't have a whole lot of views it's got twelve thousand upvotes of only 440 but it doesn't it doesn't look quite anime either, but it doesn't look terrible. No. You know, it, and, it, you know, that's the difference. It looks like at least this one they tried. You know, give them that. At least, at least they tried. It doesn't look terrible. It does look more Western, for sure. It yeah. looks like an avatar or, or something like that. But it doesn't look bad. Uh, but they were talking about this. They, they, you know, wired. They're like, there's something really weird about Netflix anime. They're basically like, why so much CG? Why is right. it so international? Well, that's because they're trying to get more crap. But it's like back to what Disney was saying when someone asked the, the, at the meeting, are you going to go for quality or quantity? Yeah. And I think that's what we're seeing. They're all trying to get these things shit out and and for quantity over quality, and it's not going to work because people expect things to be done better. I think they'd rather have fewer choices, but that are done better. Yeah, so this article is very long. It's worth checking out on Wired. But this is the takeaway at the very end. And they, they talked about, like, they're like, you know, look, most anime fans don't like the CGI stuff, especially bad CGI. Mm -hmm. I know, like, uh, Squid King and I were trying to watch the Godzilla movies. They weren't that great. He won't even watch the, he loves Ultraman. He won't watch the CGI. Right, Ultraman. he won't. As soon as he saw it with CGI, he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so the writer at Wired is like, Netflix, put simply, will make anime less Japanese. It can introduce Japanese writers to Australian directors. It can broker deals between Canadian writers and Japanese manga artists, Chinese background artists, and German composers. It can shoulder the risk. We're acting as a hub. This is the guy, Sakurai, who's in charge of, of Netflix anime. And that's the thing. What they're, they're calling anime no. is just animation. No, it's, they're trying to control it. They're trying yes. to, to make to change it, to make it more have more of a broad appeal. Basically, they're taking what makes it special, and they're trying to, they're trying to take the spice out of it to make it bland so more people can eat it. And 
the reason it was great, the reason it was special was because it, it wasn't controlled and it wasn't pulled, reined in and it wasn't like made to appeal to everyone. Um, but that there were so many different options that one might not appeal to you, but others might, but it was all good. And this is just like, they're trying to make it the least common denominator. And when you do that, you take everything that makes it special away. Well, that's what the writer says. He had this very, I mean, it was a very in-depth interview with Netflix. And he said toward the end of our interview, uh, Sakurai tells, uh, talks about how Netflix has been poaching artists from a French institute to make anime. I tell him it's very interesting, the internationalization of anime by this big tech media conglomerate, because in America, a lot of people watch anime yes. to escape maybe to Japan or some otaku yes. vision of it. Japan's a different country with different culture. Its media might resonate on a visceral human level, but sometimes in a welcome turn, nothing about anime will remind me of my life at all. Oh, wow, Sakurai says, as if he's never actually considered that. Right, because what you're doing is you're trying to, you're trying to, like I said, you're trying to take what made it, what made it anime and make it, and use the name, appropriate the name, but make it not, you know, it's, it's a shell of itself. Yeah. It's like you're taking all the good stuff out of the candy and then leaving the shell. Yeah, and it's not it's not actually again, I don't think that like Onyx Equinox looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. I think it actually looks pretty decent for a Western cartoon. Right, but it's not anime. It's not anime. Don't call it, it's anime influenced, obviously, like Avatar, but it's not a Japanese product. It's gonna have it's gonna have restraints on it and everything else about, you know, because they're gonna try to make it that it appeals to the most amount of people. Um and, and, and to do that what makes things, uh, you know, spicy or makes them sweet or makes them whatever. It's like with food, you go to Disney, it's a joke is it's really bland because they're trying to appeal to everyone. And that's what this is. Oh, he said that too? He said the very end. He said a quirk of good art is the love story involving a 3,000 year old demon and a 16 year old high schooler with cat ears <laughs> might get you through a breakup when Bridget Jones' diary cannot. In the U.S., Anime is still an outsider medium, an escapist vehicle. In time, Netflix may discover that nobody really wants what everyone wants. That's right. And, and, and you can't stop. Just, Japan, listen to me. You're doing great on your own. You are reaching, you you had you were far reaching in the 90s, you're far reaching now. Manga is kicking American comics ass. Do not listen to these people. Because look what happened when, when, when they touch it, it dies. Comics are doing shit because they put restrictions on it. They started making it about, you know, certain, you know, pushing certain agendas and certain things instead of making good stories and characters, and it's dying. Meanwhile, manga is destroying American comics because they're not being restrained. They're not being, you know, they're not having to face the same hurdles. Then people want that. They want it unbridled and free. They don't want this shit. So this is coming from Anime News Network. Going back to X-Arm, which again is Crunchyroll, but Crunchyroll and Netflix's uh, take on original anime is very similar. It's mm -hmm. like, let's kind of westernize the our, and, and make it for Western audiences and you know cut corners when we have to. Anime News Network, X-Arm is embarrassing. Despite being a Crunchyroll original, at, a time, at the time of this writing, the streaming service has yet to promote the recently released mass dislike trailer on their social media. Commentators have pointed out the poor quality in mass, with the show appearing to look nothing like the early key visual art. And uh, they talked about Beastars, which is actually, that actually is CG too, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they go through a whole bunch of like, why do they, basically they cut corners. And they hired people that didn't know what the hell they were doing. And, uh, you know, why is Crunchyroll, why is Crunchyroll dumping this much money into these subpar right. productions? Right. Quality over quantity. Right. Um, now, I am concerned, too, about Ghibli doing a CG movie. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess if anybody can pull it off, it's Ghibli. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but Meanwhile... As they, as Netflix and Crunchyroll Americans fumble around trying to figure out trying anime, to control it all, trying to control it all over in Japan, the 100% Japanese Demon Slayer movie is killing it. And when it comes over here, it's gonna kill it over here too. It's gonna kill it over here too. And they're they're basically trying to figure out why it was such a huge success. Because it's flipping good. It's visually fun. 
Go ahead, yeah. what are you going to say? No, I just, they're asking quite, because they don't understand. Hollywood doesn't understand. Like, it's cartoons. It all looks the same. They got no. the big eyes and the blue hair. No. What's the problem? They have fantastic characters that people relate to. The characters resonate with you. The relationships resonate with you. You want to know what happens. Is the sister going to be okay? You want to know these things. They have unique, they all have unique quirks that make them, you know, special and appealing. And the people just love it. And the story's good. And the action's good. And it's paced well. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. They're like, Demon Slayer has is, is become this, this franchise. It's, it's a well-loved manga series. And uh, people love these characters. And it was an organic growth. Yeah, it's the same for anything. Like My Hero Academia, yeah. all these things. It's because people like the characters. At the end of the day, it's the characters. And the connection that we have form with the characters. Um, they feel real. And they feel like people you might know. Or they feel like people you might want to hang out with. Or they might have experiences that are similar to something you understand and relate to. And, and then as a teacher, how you get to people and how you make them connect with things is you put it, you, you make it that they can relate to it and understand it. And that's what anime does. And what they're doing is they're just changing it and taking it away. They're just turning it into everything else. Which anymore, if you haven't noticed in media, it's all about pushing. It's about adjectives first and story and character second but it's not that way you, d people are all different and they have all different kinds of people and it's it's organic and and you just love them anyway and you don't care and you can't create that in a lab and that's what no. they're trying to do like like, like Net Star Wars. yeah right <laughs> like netflix and crunchyroll america like you think crunchyroll would get it better than anybody but apparently they had people there that think that it all looks the same. And I got big eyes and blue hair, so it's it's anime. It's anime. No. It's anime. No. And there's something cultural about it. And it's it's getting lost as they Agreed. try to, you know, again, even if you know we would ever do an animated series, even if it had an anime look to it, I would never call it anime. I'd be like, hey, maybe it was influenced by. Right. But it's, it's not, not anime. It's a Western production that just happens to look similar to. Like Castlevania. I would not consider Castlevania anime. It looks anime like but it is produced by western right. people yeah you know, and so. it's just like you know for all their you know push over here to try to be as diverse as possible anime already has been diverse for years and it, and, and and it's just like here it feels like everybody has to be the same um on some level but there everybody can be different and it, and it just feels right does that make sense yeah yeah uh demon slayer is known for its high quality animation especially within its fight scenes why does why does this show look so awful? Why are the fight scenes so bad? It's, it's bad. <laughs> why is it an embarrassment? An embarrassment. Uh, you know, I, I just look. This is going to be a disaster. The more they try to again, you know, just shit out content to to hit a certain demographic, the more it's actually going to hurt the entire industry. Because what's going to happen is people are going to look at this and be like, "This stuff is freaking awful." Yeah. You know, we're not paying to watch this quote unquote anime that's not actually anime. Are you listening, Disney? Not about anime, but shitting out a lot of things that suck, you know, just because you want content. This is what happens. This is what happens. And and I think we're going to see a lot of as more and more studios and streamers, you know, uh, turn to animation to fill in the gaps created by COVID. They're going to cut corners. They're going to do budget cut animation. We're seeing on sci-fi all mm -hmm. the shit that's coming. Adult Swim, all the crap that's coming to Adult Swim, it's terrible. And we're going to see a lot of really, really god-awful anime that could actually hurt the industry all the way around. And I think people just don't want to wait. Like, I think we've, we've cultivated a society with the internet and stuff that you don't have to wait for things. And I think that's the problem, too. I think because sometimes to have what's best, you have to wait for it. And it might take a while. But when you get it, it's going to be so much better than if you just rush it out it, you're gonna lose so much. Yeah, but they they just want to make they just want to stop the churn. That's what yeah. Uh, you know, Bob Chapek was saying they want to stop the churn. Netflix is all about stopping the churn, but they don't realize like it's got to be good. It's got to be good. And I'm sorry, but your CGI anime and your Crunchyroll's X arm, this is not gonna keep people. You know, it's not gonna keep people. So no, I don't know. Demon Slayer, on the other hand. I love Demon Slayer. Kicks all kinds of ass. It does. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.